Are there non-Muslims like to ask a question? Any of the microphones? Any non-Muslims like to ask a question? Then come on the microphone. They're most welcome. Anyone in that queue? Any non-Muslims? Any non-Muslims like to ask a second time? Also, they're most welcome. Till the time the non-Muslims come on the microphone, we can take questions from the Muslims. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum, brother Jackie. I'm working for Bruce Dubai for hotel. But actually, I'm always thinking for hotel working is halal or haram. There is biggest hotel for it in Dubai. But always I'm thinking for the um, yes, uh, and I'm long time is working for the hotel industry. And please, you can <laughs> thank but you. That's the question. I work for a hotel, working in hotel haram or halal. If the activities in the hotel are halal, it's allowed. If the activities are haram, it's not allowed. <laughs> See, if you tell me the name of the hotel, so I'm clear for the hotel, but you know the hotel industry is working for the, there is hard drinks and soft drinks, ah, all hard about. drink and soft drinks. And not yeah. only so this, not, like that, only nah. this, not only this, not only Working in a five-star hotel. No, Allowed yes, five-star hotel. And Allowed or not? Okay, fine. I know most of the five-star hotels have got alcohol. So working. And I'm clearly, please sir, uh, actually all the five-star hotel I'm never uh, into, but my hotel is... Uh, mm, it's hard drinks. Uh, hard drinks. Yeah, the, Five star hotel. Hard drinks supply. It's some sector. But what I'm is not. What's your position? I'm, sorry, sir. I'm not. I'm not working for the hard drinks sector. I'm working the front office. Front uh, office. Oh, yeah, front but, office. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's why I'm say, always thinking. Is Fine. No, the brother asked. Haram, if you're working in hotel industry, which serves alcohol, if you're serving alcohol yourself, it is haram to work there. But if you're working in any other sector which is not involved in haram activity, front desk can have haram also. Because I'm told, you know, front desk, if you sit to the hotel, is, you know, we say, that family hotel, hey, family hotel, you know. <laughs> so if it's a non-family hotel, working in front desk also may become haram. So if it's a family hotel, where everything is clean and all, you're working in the front desk. If there's alcohol served in a five-star hotel, the alcohol income is a small percentage. The alcohol income in the hotel is a small percentage, maybe less than 5%. If you're working in the front desk and yes. you're not involved in serving alcohol, not involved in any haram activities. Yes, I'm, not is served, no problem. I'm, I'm not served. I'm not served. Working alcohol, there this. is no problem. You think your income is coming from a halal portion. Because the alcohol may be less than 5%. Think your portion is from the halal. You told me all five tautists of alcohol. I disagree with you. Last time when I came to Dubai, four months back, I was the guest of Jumal Majid. And he kept in his hotel Taj. And I'm told that the first five star hotel in Dubai which does not serve alcohol. So don't tell me all the five-star hotels have alcohol. I've stayed in Taj. I was the guest of Jumal Majid last time when I came four months back. And I'm told initially the Taj group, you know Taj belongs to Indians, to Tata, Zatan Tata. They objected, no. No alcohol means no Taj. They said no alcohol means we don't want Taj. You want to come as our partner, we don't want alcohol. You want to come, come otherwise don't come. The Taj were forced to agree with the request of Shri Jumal Majid. MashaAllah, and now I'm told it is one of the most expensive, most wanted hotel without alcohol, Alhamdulillah. So don't tell me all the hotels, I do agree, almost all the hotels outside Saudi Arabia or those countries where alcohol is banned, they do have alcohol. But if you are the owner, you can very well put your foot down. And believe me, he is doing better business than most of the other five-star hotels. So. You do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah gives you business. So coming back to your question, if you are not involved in any haram activity, if you are working in the other section of the hotel industry, and the hotel industry, the haram portion, is a small percentage, you think your income is from the halal portion. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. May we move on to the sisters, please?